How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do. Hello everyone and welcome back to the source code my name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at teleporting players or warping players they are the same thing and do not get confused by this by this so if you see warping or teleporting it is the same exact thing and we're going to be doing a warp to a player and we're going to be doing a warp to a location a location that is saved a saved soft coded location so if you guys have been following along in the tutorial this your project should look something similar to this structure um, may not be exact but it should be something very very similar to this and we're going to be using the commands class that we worked on in our commands episode so if you guys have not seen that be sure to go check that out once again, make sure not to skip around in the video or you guys could miss a line of code that could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin and all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub. So go there to check it out. So first things first, um, like in our uh, commands tutorial, we have our command strings up here. That way we can change them and access, access them on any other class that we want to. So we have warp and then we're gonna set warp, which is going to be, we're gonna set the location uh, that the player is standing at. So first things first, so we're gonna teleport to a player right so we're gonna go here and say if cmd .get name equals ignore case cmd1 or warp then we're gonna run this line of code so what we need to say is if args dot length is equal equal to one then we're gonna go ahead and run this command so what we're doing and then we're gonna want to say and is not uh, args dot args brackets zero dot equals ignore case and it does not equal location and so we want this here because um, there is better ways you can do it but we're going to do it the lazy way um, because what's going to happen is they're going to do slash warp in a player's name and it's going to warp them to the player but our when we do locations is going to be warp location um, and the second arg is going to be location and location is obviously not a player so we want it to be location is if it does not equal location then we're also going to run this so location we'll get to after but what we want to do is we have to well, there's no way to set args as a player or cast it as a player as far as I know so what, what you could do with craft player but anyways so what we want to do is we want to get a list of all the players that are online so we want to say for all lowercase so we want to say for player online we're going to use online because we're already instancing the word player for player or the sender and then we want to go ahead and say bucket dot oop, bucket dot get online players and this is going to basically loop through all of the online players and now you can do like you can use a while statement um, but we're gonna use a for loop because I think it's just probably the easiest um, for something like this and they pretty much do the same exact thing and so then the next thing we're gonna want to do is we want to say if args zero and once again everything in Java starts at zero so the first argument after the command um, so we want to say if arg zero dot equals a online dot get display name well we want to say we want to do equals ignore case so that way it doesn't matter the case that they they type it in ignore case equals ignore case yep so we want to say if args dot zero equals ignore case online dot get the players display name we want to go ahead and just say player dot teleport online and that's literally as simple as it is so we have our warp command here. Also make sure to go into your plugin.yml and add your commands into there as well. I forgot that. So let's go ahead and export this. Uh, we want to also, you want to make sure you're sending return statements here. So we want to do return to Ross. It's going to show the command. And let's just for creativity purposes add a message here. Check color that uh, we want green because we did it successfully. So green, you have teleported to and we're gonna do this the easy way here um, you can do color codes like this um, so this is just how I'm gonna do it real quick and we do that as yellow 
uh, you have teleported to online dot get display name and we'll just add a colon in there just to sort of create a little separation and then we'll return it true let's reload the server and reload has been complete so we can do slash warp and obviously it's gonna say nothing if our args equal zero um, so we can add a message there saying um, args uh, uh, empty or please specify a player um, but we're just gonna say inside and say warp um, let's say location and once again it returns back to that warp there because we set that to say that or well, we set it to do nothing if it equals location because that's gonna be used for something else so if we say look Hold on, let me make sure this is right. If args and or we want or so r, if args dot length is equal to one and if args dot zero is not equal, no, we want we want and we want and there. So then we're gonna say we want we want an else statement here. We want to say else player dot send message um, we want chat color dot red that is not a valid player or you can say player is not found whatever you really want to say there it doesn't particularly matter so let's go ahead and export this so now if we do player dot locate and you can see that is not a valid player and we want to make sure we are returning this as true so that way we don't get that message there but what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and I can warp to myself if I, if I really want to. You see, you teleported, you have teleported to Malik DBZ. And now you might think, well, you're not actually teleporting. Um, I, I am. I am really teleporting to myself. Um, I wish there was a, you can kind of see there, like the little flinch there. Um, basically, it's just resetting my position. So that is how I teleport to a player. So now what we want to do is we want to sell, teleport to a saved location that is in our config or whatever file you choose to create doesn't particularly matter. So that's what we want to do. We want to we want to set a location now. So we're going to go over to this gold block here and we want to set our location. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you're getting the player's yawn pitch. And now the yawn pitch is basically how they're looking. So how up they are and how over they are, right? So it's the direction. Or what's going to happen is it's just going to teleport you facing one certain direction, which you may or may not want, because you maybe you want them to to you know face this way or face that way or face this way. Um, so that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to set the yaw pitch x, y, and z. So we're going to have our command two here. So we're just going to copy this here. And we're going to go down to command if it equals command two, and then we want to say if args dot length equals equals two. So we want the args to equal two. Um, uh, okay, I was going to do something there, but I'll wait. And then we're going to say um, else return true. We'll just have it be return true for now. We don't need to add a fancy back message. So if equals two, and if args dot or arg zero dot equals ignore case. Well, no, we don't want that. Sorry, 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 sorry. So that doesn't matter, right? So now we have if it equals two. So we want it to be, oh, we only need one. Sorry, if it equals one. So what we want to do now is we need to set it to the config here. So we have to go ahead and say plugin dot get config dot set. And then we want to set our path or basically what's going to happen, right? So we need all of the players um, information. So we just want to create a new, new location. We'll call it lock equals player dot get location. Okay, this will be easier than calling player dot get location every single time, and it's cleaner. All right. So we got that. So then what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and say warps dot args zero plus dot yaw. And then it's going to be lock.get yaw. And that is how we're going to get the yaw. And then we're going to do the same thing for pitch xyz. So pitch xyz. So we're going to change this to pitch. I know, super, super repetitive. So we're going to change this to x, y, and z. We're going to change this to get x, get y, 
get Z and then we want to go ahead and make sure we save our config so plugin dot save config all right so that is how we're going to set it to our configuration um, so let's just go here and let me just get rid of this folder there because we don't need that per se right now so we're gonna say so set warp to and then we need a location of the warp and it's going to capture the players yaw and pitch and now what we want to do is well we got to return this true first off return true and then we also want to just go ahead and say player dot send message chat color dot green now you always want to make sure you really you want to make sure you're giving a player sort of a confirmation that that command went through whether no matter what that is um, if it's a teleport you really don't have to give confirmation like you have been teleported um, because they know that the command worked because something happened. You always want something to happen so they know that the, that the command worked. So then we want to say location saved to config. And you can just be a simple message as that. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. We can go ahead and export that. Reload. And now we can go ahead and say set warp E. And location saved to config. And let's go check our config to see if it really did save. And as you can see, we have our yaw and our pitch. I'm not really sure why it looks like that, um, but there it is. So what we can do now is we can load our yaw and our pitch in our um, command up here. So we want to say uh, if args zero dot equals ignore case location. And then we want to go ahead and say if uh, do we want to say if do we want to say if let me think about this real quick so if it equals location no we don't need to do that um, now you, you are going to want to do a check to make sure that what they're typing in for their argument exists um, I really don't want to get into that right now um, but basically we're just going to go ahead and go through and create this so what we want to do is we need to create a float of yaw, pitch, and x, y, and z. So then we're going to go ahead and say float yaw equals plugin dot git con git config git config dot git int. And we're going to go ahead and say warps warps dot plus args one plus yaw. So we're gonna get that, and that is going to be our yaw. And we're gonna go ahead and get pitch x, y, z. I'm not sure why I put the spacing like that, but that's just kinda how I spaced it out, so deal with it. And then we're gonna go ahead and change this to pitch. Did I make that uppercase? So this is case sensitive here, so make sure it is exactly how you have it typed in on your configuration file, or it is not going to work. X y and a z so the next thing we have to do is let's just get rid of all these spaces here i don't really need those so the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a new location off of these coordinates and then we're going to go ahead and say uh, lock equals new location and then we're going to go ahead and say uh, player dot get world and then we want x y z yaw pitch okay and then what we can do is we can go ahead and say player dot teleport location or lock which is our variable there so what we did go over this real quick so we have our second command which is set warp sorry i'm trying to get my feet out from under me so we have our set warp command down here and what's going to happen here is we need to make sure that the arguments are equal to one you can do uh, greater than or equal to one but I want it to be just one because we just only want one argument after set warp we don't want anything else because you know it can mess it up so we need to get the players location right and we're doing this so that way you don't have to do um, player dot get location dot get yaw player dot get location dot get pitch dot get x and so we're just setting it to the config right now right of where the player was standing when they cast that command then here if arg zero in our first command here, as you can see here by the highlighted bracket bar here, in our or squiggly bracket, so in our command here, we're saying if arg zero or the first argument 
equals equals or ignore equals ignore case. So it doesn't matter how you type it in location. We're going to run this command, and then we're going to get the argument one or two, really, the second argument after command, and we're going to get it from the config there. We're going to get all that information. So let's go ahead and reload, and now we can go ahead and warp location e, and there we go. And I didn't set it as true. I didn't return true. Um, so let's go ahead and export this. And let's go ahead and say E. There we go. And now you can see if I do two. Ooh. I'm not really sure why that worked. Interesting. So this, that is extremely, extremely interesting. Oh, I'm inside a tree. That's weird that it st still is allowing us to warp even though that doesn't exist in our config. That is pretty cool, I guess. Weird. Well, that's that's it, guys. Um, that's how you teleport or warp a player to a player or a saved location. So just a quick overview. You guys learned how to use a for loop here. So you can do, uh, where did it go? Right here. So you guys can do this with really anything, anything that has a multiple. So you can do it with uh, inventory contents. You can do it with arrays. Uh, I don't know if you can do it with hash maps. I haven't tried, but my guess is probably because it is sort of like an array of items. And you guys also learned how to, well, you guys got a quick review again on setting and retrieving information from configs. And that's all I can. You guys also learned about yawn pitch. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. And all this code will be available to you guys on GitHub. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.